Okay, removing the back plate. This is the impeller. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Next is to remove the center shaft, the impeller. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before is that we need to remove this grab screw from this place we need to remove it before we push the press the center shaft out this grab screw is to keep uh, the the bearing assembly at its place so it won't move we need to remove this grab grab screw first okay don't forget if you don't have the press machine like this if you don't have the press machine we can use a more simple way more simple tool okay we can we can use a hammering method we can use hammer to press the center shaft out so this is the <coughs> this is the arrangement you can see okay this is the inner shaft the center shaft you can see it's already pushed out to some degree okay I use nuts and bolts with the right size so I can put it here then I will hammer it with the with the big heavy steel heavy enough I will hammer it like this. This hammer, small hammer, won't be enough. It won't be enough. <coughs> okay, this arrangement at the bottom, I put the uh, support. Support like this. You can see the bearing is moving out already to some degree. Okay, I use the uh, old shit. I use old uh, brick cylinder caliper brick caliper cylinder. Luckily, the size is the size is correct, so I put it here. You can see. It it sits right on top of the outer lip of the bearing housing. You can see so that the bearing can come out freely. Okay. and one important thing is to put enough mass at the bottom put the, you have to have enough mass to give the <coughs> to dampen to dampen the shock when I hit the, <coughs> the top with this hammer 
the more you have mass at the bottom, the more effective the <coughs> the hammering process. Okay, put, and then I support the <coughs> this thing with the use tire like this. So it will protect my floor. You don't need to place the <coughs> arrangement at the solid ground. You don't need. You don't need. Okay. And then I place uh, some protection on the. <coughs> on the <coughs> on this on the side so that on the impeller I mean I put some protection on the impeller so that when I hit this <coughs> bolts and I when I miss the hit then I at least there will be minimal damage okay Okay, let's try. <coughs> Before. Okay, we have uh, successfully 
remove the impeller from the center shaft this is center shaft you, see. you can you can see that during the impact process the impeller blades also suffer from the impact force because it sits, sits like this at the housing but I think because the material is made from cast iron and also there are several uh, blades here so that the impact force is or was distributed among many many blades so as you can see here the impeller is still good still intact okay so the next step maybe we have to push this center shaft further down further out or maybe we don't have to let's see <coughs> okay i think i have to push this center shaft further down so that i can remove it completely now i'm using longer bolt like this and then i will hammer it further and we'll use this as a helper so it will sit quite stable okay let's see 